Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft Monday. Now, last time I was a bit sick and a bit disorganized and very confused as to where my end portal was. Uh, it turns out, let's just go down here. Uh, you might recognize this place and you might notice that I have made a few alterations uh, to the way that this place looks. Uh, I've kind of hollowed this place out. Last time, I found that my eyes of Ender were just traveling up right there and stopping and then falling down a giant hole. That didn't happen last time in my last world. Uh, whoa, 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 where are you? Yep, right there. Thank you. Uh, in my last world, they went directly to the end portal, so this confused me quite a bit. Uh, it actually doesn't say on the Minecraft wiki that uh, they changed this, but they did. Uh, and now Eyes of Ender just go to the entrance to the stronghold. Uh, now, where the portal actually is, oh, there it is, hello, is right here somewhat below and to the side of where the Eyes of Ender were going. I've already taken out the, um, the whatchamacallit spawner, the, uh, the, um, silverfish, silverfish spawner, uh, and the creep, 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 creep. We didn't blow anything up. That's weird. Anyway, uh, sword's out. Let me show you where this portal is. This is the most ridiculous... Oh, hey. I didn't realize one of my eyes actually made it in there. That's weird. Considering that they were flying in the opposite direction, I can't see how one of my eyes actually made it in here from that distance away. But, uh, we move on. Uh, let me show you where this is in relation to the rest of the stronghold. Uh, notice this is the main entrance to uh, the portal chamber. It's going out into a cave. So, to be clear, if it was facing in two of the other three possible directions that it could have faced, it would have come out right here or right over there, which I'm pretty sure is more stronghold isn't facing in those directions, so it made it somewhat difficult to find. Uh, let's just go over here so you can see how close I was to finding it. You might recall from the last episode that I went, where is it, over here? Yes, right here. Notice these torches are already here, I'm not placing them as I go. I went over here, I saw this, there was water flowing right here, I decided not to go in the direction of the water, and we come out right here in our zombie spawner. Yes! This, wait, aha, this is the zombie spawner that we killed some zombies at last episode. So the portal actually isn't in the stronghold. You need to go through a cave in order to even have a chance of finding it. Which I think is uh, kind of ridiculous and they should warn you that your eyes of ender will not go directly to the portal. But I digress. Where are we? Oh, right. There's our spiral staircase back up. Uh, this episode might jump around a bit because I have a lot to show you in addition to this. Uh, so, let's just jump on to the next thing, shall we? And the next thing is that, uh, I don't know if I've shown you this, but uh, I've covered the floor of my nether terminal entirely in half slabs uh, in order to stop ghasts from spawning in here. Uh, I guess my other option would have been to lower the ceiling everywhere. That's not an option. So I covered the entire thing in half slabs. I actually did that a couple of weeks ago. But the next thing that I want to show you 
is that I have discovered something in the nether. Something that is very, very important to continuation in the game. Uh, I've also put some windows in. Uh, I don't know, I think I live in a Minecraft world where the general rule is everything needs to be far away from me. So I've actually built a rail line out to this location just because I was tired of running back and forth and I figure I'll need to go back and forth quite a bit. Uh, I put some orange glass around it. It's kind of nice. It's not very straight. Uh, I could have made it a little bit less varied of a... Uh, um, anyway. Zoom! And I definitely haven't optimized this uh, powered rail here. But anyway, the place of which I speak is forthcoming. It's a long way, even by rail. Although I understand that they're increasing the speed of minecarts in the next update, which is nice and will probably, like, screw up my corners there. But anyway, the place that I've found in the nether is none other than another fortress. Complete with blaze spawner. And I'm sure if we wait around long enough, we will see some wither skeletons. But I'm very happy about that. Um, I actually didn't just stumble across this uh, in survival. I, As you know, I like flying around. It's one of the things I like doing in Minecraft. Like, if you disagree, then shut up. Uh, but, uh, sorry, you're entitled to your opinion, but uh, that's what I like to do. I don't give myself any stuff in creative mode. I just like flying around. So when I was flying around, I came across this nether fortress. Uh, and there's actually another one somewhere over there, but I think this should suit my nether fortress needs for the foreseeable future. And since I have a nether fortress, two hit kill, love it. Uh, I also have blaze rods, which brings us back to our next point. Uh, so I guess I will see you back where I have the rest of my blaze rods. And one thing I forgot to mention, one thing that I feel that is important to mention is that uh, although some other series I have just let slide, let not be weekly, and let go entirely, I feel it's important to uh, continue this series because I kinda like just going into my Minecraft world away from all the busyness of things and stuff, and I hope you enjoy it too, all nine or ten of you who watch this. And I'll continue to release Minecraft Mondays as long as I can, as long as Minecraft keeps being interesting, which it always does, there's always something to do, and if there isn't something to do you can install a mod that allows you to do that thing, that would be interesting to do. Hey guy, uh, this is uh, one of the dangers of having nether portals all over the place. You get pigmen and pigs where they're not supposed to be. Pigmen like to come over to the overworld and pigs, for some reason, like to come to the underworld. Uh, but I digress. Over the last week or so, I have been busy uh, collecting blaze rods and destroying Enderman uh, in order to get Eyes of Ender. So, actually, this better. Let's just go 6, 8, 10, 12, good enough. Boom, and boom. I'm doing this to show you that I haven't just cheated like 13 Eyes of Ender in here. Boom. And now, now, we can activate our end portal, but hopefully not fall through it like I did the first time that I tried to do that. Uh, fortunately, that's not on camera, but yeah, I, I fell through into the end. Uh, I'm pretty sure a silverfish kicked me in, but uh, it was not fun. I lost everything. I'd been enchanting for a while, and uh, I didn't have a very efficient mob farm, so it took me a while to get back and uh, finally, that was on video, my return to the end, but uh, 
Let's do this together. Just so that you can see the exciting process of slotting Eyes of Ender into the end portal. Uh, wow. That's foreboding. But, as I say, that is an adventure for another day. Uh, and I still have an Eye of Ender left, because I unexpectedly had one pop into the portal. I, st I have no idea how that did that, since they were going freaking over there. Uh, but anyway, that is an adventure for another day. And we will move on to the next thing that I have done over the last week. Now, the next thing that I want to show you involves another minecart and some nice lime green glass. Uh, as I say, I like I don't think I checked the uh, large biomes option in my world, but it seems that everything cool is far away. I don't know. This is probably a new thing, or perhaps it's completely incidental, but it seems that biomes no longer spawn, like, randomly right next to each other. Like, you won't get a desert and a snow, snowy, icy biome right next to each other. They kind of go in shades of biomes, so I've noticed that to the east of my location, there's a bunch of icy, snowy ice plains and stuff like that, and snowy ice ice snow. Uh, and to the north, there's like a bunch of forests, and to the south, there's a bunch of swamps and plains and stuff, uh, etc. And to the west, there are some warmer biomes. I haven't completely finished this track, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that sometime. But uh, another cool thing that I noticed is that you can actually expand your portal by uh, by one without using any additional um, obsidian, which is kind of cool. But the next thing that I wanted to show you is what is on the other end of this portal. You might have already guessed, but, oh hey pig, he was hanging out in the nether for a while. Uh, I don't know how he got back of his own accord, but uh, he did. Anyway, ha ha, ah, I cannot fully express my satisfaction at finding this. This is a giant jungle. It is huge. And I've actually found another jungle since this. I haven't made a portal to it or anything, but it's weird. It seems that uh, I thought jungles were supposed to be smaller than they were in the previous uh, versions of Minecraft. But uh, this one is absolutely huge. You could get lost for days in here, and your compass will be useless because it is so freaking far away from home. Uh, but anyway, and of course it starts raining, because it's the rainforest. Uh, actually, that's not the reason. Um, in addition to finding a jungle, I have found, I have landed right on top of a jungle temple and made a convenient staircase down to the bottom of the jungle temple. And right now we will overcome the traps and tricks of this jungle temple. Gimme. Ahaha, ha, I see you. Uh, ah, tripwire. Anyway, what's in you? Just arrows? I'll take those. In fact, I will raid this entire temple. I'll take you yourself. Thank you, and thank you. And, oh, nothing but bones. Nothing but bones. Another thing that I've noticed uh, is that uh, jungle temples seem to be a lot more common than they were in previous versions. Uh, and nothing good. Pistons, redstone, I'll get that later if I have... Wow, I don't even have any stone. 
Uh, so, I'm just going to destroy things. Excellent! Well, that was fun. But yeah, temples seem to be uh, generating a lot more frequently than they used to. I don't... that's probably another new thing that I just didn't know about. I'm probably just completely stupid about it. Um, but yes, I have a jungle. That means I can get cocoa beans and melons, even though I already have watermelon seeds. Um, from, as you know, my giant mine shaft that I spawned right next to. Spawned? Yeah, I spawned. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, now I have jungle wood and cocoa beans and melons and all of the wonderful things that you can get in a jungle. And also a jungle. I'd like to do some building here. Uh, I've never actually built a very good tree house, and it looks like there are some pretty good tree house trees here. So I will do that in upcoming episodes, hopefully. Hopefully I'll get to the actual, you know, building part, and not just like the frantic getting through game achievements part and finding biomes and stuff uh, soon. Uh, but that is another thing that I have done in the last week. And as usual, is extremely far away, even in the nether, like, I would probably walk for days and days and days and days and days in that direction, going by land, without a horse, uh, and, like, never find home. It's, it's just ridiculous, I don't know what's up with this, like, jungles are huge, but other biomes are regular sized, there are just a lot of them, and they're mostly boring. But yeah, let me know if, uh, if you play Minecraft and uh, you've noticed that there are now, like, trends in new worlds, like deserts and savannas and jungles all spawning in the same place, and plains and extreme hills and forests all spawning in the same place, and uh, snow, taiga, taiga, um, and other snowy stuff spawning in the same place for, like, giant continents of stuff. It's ridiculous. How far you have to travel to get to new landscapes and get new trees and stuff. But that brings us to the next thing that I have discovered over the last week with this lovely non-rail as of yet um, tunnel through the open nether. It was actually kind of fun uh, doing this tunnel. I got knocked off a couple of times uh, into the lava pool. But at long last, uh, this orange glass tunnel finally leads me to none other than the savannah. That's right. With acacia wood as far as the eye can see. That's really the only reason that I wanted to find a savannah, just uh, the acacia wood. It also has a lot of sand as it turns out. Oh, and uh, by the way, that's the other side of this jungle. Uh, notice we went for a fair ways in the nether. Da -da -da -da. We went for a fair ways in the nether uh, in order to get to the other side of this jungle, which is crazy. Like, I've never seen a jungle that big. Then again, I've really only seen one jungle uh, in my life. Other than this one. And they're also like brown and black sheep. I haven't seen those anywhere else. And I actually didn't know that sheep grazed in the savannah. Um, yeah. Now, hopefully, now that I've gone, like, 5,000 blocks out, yep, 5,000 meters out, uh, or so, uh, I hope that in the next update they don't come out with, like, new mobs or anything that spawn in the savannah like they did with horses. Like, there are no horses in my old world because, like... If you go far enough, there are horses, but in any of the places that I have actually been, there are no horses, because I've already traveled there, and they just don't spawn naturally. Same with melons. Uh, there were no melons in my old jungle, because it was an old jungle. Uh, that's one of the reasons I have a new world, so that I have all of the new things, and also cows. And it doesn't rain in the savannah, but it rains in rivers, and there are rivers flowing through the savannah, it's kind of weird. Another thing, also, sorry, this episode's a bit random, I'm just kind of going all over the place. Uh, I have a Respiration 3 helmet on, so that means I can see underwater. 
just fine. It's kind of crazy. Like, this is not normal water vision. Let me show you normal water vision. Boop. Okay, maybe it is. No, wait, look. Look. Aha! There's backlight. Yeah, anyway. Uh... <laughs> where was I going with this? Right. I'm running by foot to the other side of the savannah, even though I probably could have made another nether tunnel uh, to do just that. Uh, because hopefully, with any luck, I will come across my next great discovery in this world. This is why I need to make my nether terminal horse accessible. Because even having portals all over the place, there are still places you're going to need to just run. And run. And run. And run. And run. But I think we're coming up. We are coming across it. We are coming up against my next great discovery in this world, which is, at long last, a desert. That's right. Now I will have all of the glass and all of the sand and all of the sandstone that I could ever want because I, I have found a desert. And actually, uh, I found another desert in another place as well as, brace yourselves, I found a mesa, mesa, mesa biome, and mesa plateau. So. I will have all of the earth-toned clay that I want as well, but for now, I am happy with my desert. And there's also a temple around here somewhere. Uh, I forgot to mark where it was, and I haven't looted it, so uh, that'll be fun to find again. Uh, but for now, for now, I am very happy, very happy with all of the sand that is around here. I will never run out of sand. Just watch, in a few episodes, this entire desert's going to be. Um, no. No, it won't. This looks safe. <laughs> so, yeah. We got a desert. We got desert villages galore. Uh, we have cactus, which, uh, actually, in case you don't know, uh, cactus is what you require in order to actually make lime green dye, so, uh, yeah, in order to get the glass to make the lime green line uh, out to the jungle, or at least the windows for the lime green line, I had to go to the desert in order to get the, yeah, this color coding system isn't working out exactly as I had anticipated, but uh, it, it, it works well enough. So I will see you in a moment when we get back to my home. So you can see the next couple of things that have happened over the last week of playing Minecraft. Yeah, now you can see how weird and clear my underwater vision is. Uh, at night underwater, it's just crazy. I can see all of the squid all over the place. I should probably be harvesting some ink, but uh, yeah, later. Uh, how have I gotten myself into this giant lake? <laughs> Ha ha ha. Run away. No. 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 Get away, creatures of the night. You ain't getting any of this. Uh, oh, I recognize that sugarcane island. We're almost there. Almost. Almost. Come on. And I am once again wearing full diamond armor. I don't know what I'm worried about. <laughs> Smack you with my bow. Um, where? Aha! <laughs> Safety! Aha! No spiders. No spiders. 
You know, I kind of like having the 3x3 three three portal. I might do a, uh, uh sorry. I, <laughs> I kind of like having a, wait, that's one, two, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that is 3x3, three three. I can count. <laughs> I kind of like having the 3x3 three three portal. I might uh, do a 3x4 if I get some more obsidian. Actually, technically, if I move that 3 up, then that corner will count, and I could just have a 3x4 three portal uh, with the exact same amount of obsidian that I would use for a 2x3 portal. Smart, huh? But let's get back home. Get back home. Before we leave, is there anything else in the nether? Oh yeah, I, I repaired my, uh, finally, I repaired my packed ice thing. I need to start putting signs here because I keep forgetting where all my things are. We've got, uh, Jungle Savannah Desert. Uh, we've got, um, Flower Forest, uh, End Portal, and Nether Fortress. Uh, we've got Ice Plain Spikes, or Ice Spikes Plains, I keep forgetting which, uh, Swamp down there, <laughs> uh, and then Flower Forest out there, so I'm probably going to start putting some signs, uh, and I might even start making this place look not so terrible. I'm getting kind of tired of looking at all of the cobblestone and just the irregular shape of this place. So that might be a project for a future episode, but until then, let's go back home. And dawn is breaking. It is perfect. A perfect time to see what I have done with the place. That is right. Oh, yeah, I got some horse armor. So now my horse has some iron armor. Um, I don't really plan on taking my horse into battle, but uh, not my horse. Horse armor. All right. I should also consider, like, doing some horse breeding. Aha! Look at that! What is that? What have I done? <laughs> Just you wait. Uh, so, I have, uh, I've added another level, another couple of levels. I've added another module, another cube, to my house. Uh, and you might notice that it is a 180 degree flip. Uh, so I flipped everything 180 degrees. The windows that were there on the other side are now there. Uh, and yeah. I might have done uh, a 90 degree flip. Like um, flipping that right there 90 degrees. Uh, it looks a little bit, uh, a little bit harsh, a little bit rigid. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but the mirror image thing, uh, if I want to add a third level, it might not work out quite as well as I would like. But if it comes to that, we can always change things out. It's just a matter of changing everything. Uh, but I still have my enchanting thing here. I might move that up into the module. Uh, I don't know. Might just make this a nice little deck area. Uh, but yeah, so this is Dark Oak and Acacia, which is a nice combination. It's nice and dark, quite rich. Um, it's very contrasty. It's more contrasty than probably any of the other wood combinations. Uh, and then instead of having my split level thing that I had in the previous module, uh, I have a glass floor. So I have two complete levels in here. Uh, and if I really wanted to, I could put like a third crawl space up there or something. Uh, or a stairway to the roof, which I still need to figure out. Uh, the roof is just lit up by torches right now. But the main purpose of this level is going to be brewing. I have my brewing stand here right in the middle. I'm going to put some uh, chests and stuff and other stuff. I don't know. I'm not much of an interior decorator here, so... Uh, You'll have to let me know what would look good in here, in my brewing lab. <laughs> and as I say, I might put my uh, bookshelves and stuff down here and have my enchanting, brewing, enchanting, brewing. Don't tell me to put anvils all around the outside, because although that would look nice, it would take so much iron. And I do not have that much iron. Another thing, 
that I have done with my place. Let's just go down because you can't really see it from here. I need a window in that side, but that just wouldn't work out very well. Uh, another thing, I put some acacia trees around. Uh, obviously I needed a lot of acacia wood and a lot of dark oak wood. Actually, I had a dark oak there. I just kept growing the same tree and then chopping it down. Uh, that's how I got all of this dark oak. <laughs> but yeah, I put some acacia trees around. I think they look nice. They look particularly nice in the, uh, in the plains biome because their leaves are nice and green. Uh, so now I have, um, some nice foliage. Excuse me, I was hungry. Uh, I have some nice trees around my fishing pond, uh, and I might put some bushes and stuff, just, you know, shear some trees, uh, and put some little leaves around there. I want to make this place look nice, uh, and I haven't really done much to change the grade of the land or, like, build any, like, good-looking structures or anything around here. I just have my farm and my ranch and my mob farm and my that and my house, uh, but yeah, I think that is going to be a project for the next while. Um, one last thing. I know, this episode has been all over the place, but uh, I have a lot of things to show you. I don't often have a lot of things, but <laughs> I have a lot of things. If you recall, I was getting all of my lava from this little lava pool right here and uh, making it into nether uh, obsidian, obsidian, that's it, obsidian, uh, right here in my nice little obsidian mold. But it seems that I have uh, drained my lava pool dry completely. Uh, it's kind of a sad sight. I've made so much obsidian that I have drained an entire lava pool. Uh, but don't worry, do not worry, because, because, uh, if we go down here, and there's no way down there, actually there is, it's through a cave, but I prefer going down this way, uh, because, doing live transitions really isn't easy in this game because there's a lot of travel time, you might notice. And I don't really have anything else to talk about at this point. Just this. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, is it... where is it? Um, and of course you can't see down... Ah! Uh, who invited you? I guess that area is a little bit dark. Yep. Light that up. Good. Uh, I can't remember which tunnel it was down, but uh, let's go down here. Of course, it's down all of the tunnels. <laughs> My new lava pool. It's uh, somewhat larger. I have no idea how deep it is, but uh, yeah, now... I just need to set up my obsidian thing right here, and I have a lot of lava. And it did just occur to me that uh, I do have an in- ah! Ah! <laughs> Okay. 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 Uh, I don't have any water on me. Wow. Uh, so kids, uh... There you have it, the importance of lighting everything up. You might get attacked by a creeper and knocked into lava. As you are showing your audience your lovely new obsidian farm. Uh, how, where, what, why, I don't even know. Everything seems pretty lit up, but uh, things like that tend to happen. Uh, on that note, uh, this episode has been all over the place. I've shown you all of the things that I've done over the last week, and I haven't actually done anything on camera, but unfortunately it looks like we are out of time. So, uh, 
I really need to start making this place look a little bit nicer too. There are so many things I need to do. So many things. But yes, we are out of time. And that's everything I had to show you from this last week. So, if you have any suggestions for other things that I could pursue in my world, please let me know. And until next time, uh, goodbye? <laughs>